Hey YouTube, welcome back guys. So today I'm going to show you guys a side by side comparison and do some uh, little measurement in regards to this uh, echo uh, boulder versus uh, echo boulders uh, plus. And both of them are waterproof uh, outdoor uh, speakers. So let's go ahead and then, uh, get it started guys. So uh, Just by looking at the first generation, and this is the second generation, as you can see, the grill, the speaker grill is a little bit different. This one has a shape like going in on the near the top of the tweeter, and then on the woofer is going upward, and you got this uh, echo gear on the top uh, third of the speaker grill, okay? And on the right hand side, you got this, uh, <clears throat> the grill is kind of like a, going like a bulging out, outward. And you got this uh, echo gear, this logo right there in the middle. And then on the bottom, uh, third section is uh, echo gear, the emblem over there. And then uh, around the the outer rims, this is all black dial versus uh, the second generation. It has a black uh, plastic covering around the outer uh, grill. And by uh, looking at it on the on the tap section. You got this uh, flat surface, which is a uh, rubberized uh, material. It is uh, for your uh, smartphone or your tablet or iPod touch to sit this on top. Well, since I'm holding this way, it's gonna slide. So this is prevent from uh, if your speaker is turning out loud with the bass or something, you want avoid from vibration. Or if you want, you can put your uh, smartphone right here <sighs> on the top. And I have this uh, tablet right here. This just gives some kind of measurement right here because uh, on the first generation right here where you hold the tablet it's not too wide versus the second generation is it it is uh, wider from edge to edge and it is uh, thicker but since I have my uh, case it's still not going to fit in there, okay? I had to take out my case, and as you can see, I still have more space right here, so you can fit like a, maybe a bigger uh, tablet or bigger iPod or iPad. It's either the Air or the Pros or whatever, but if you have uh, like a 12 inch, you're probably not going to fit. So that's why I have a measuring tape right here. I'm trying to measure for you guys. You will fit up to nine and a half inch. Yeah, about nine and a half inch uh, in length. On the new one, and on the first generation one, it will fit from. Uh, around seven and a half inch. Well, a little bit bigger than seven and a half inch, probably less than seven and three quarter inch. All right, so I'm gonna turn it on to the side.
as you can see I still have my uh, sticker right here on the right hand side this is where the microphone the auxiliary input and then uh, the USB output it says a USB uh, one output 5 volt 1.0 amp and then on the new one basically it is the same thing it says a USB one output and then 5 volt 1 amp microphone on the left and then auxiliary in okay and let's go ahead and then uh, check on the bottom one and the bottom one is just a charging uh, port for the AC input and then you just have that like a computer uh, cable that come with it to charge your unit and same goes with the new one somehow on the new one it has a barcode and then a QC which is a quality control passed and on the old one there's nothing okay So let's go ahead and then uh, move it on to the opposite side. So you gotta make sure you put it in the right position right there in order to lock it. Okay, make sure the tab is on the top and then you turn it uh, clockwise to lock into position. There is also a lock and unlock uh, for you to match it up. Right now it just shows the lock. So you turn it up, it is unlocked. After you unlock it, you gotta pull this tab to pry out, okay? So here is this fun part. I'm gonna do this uh, side, by, side by side comparison on the side panel right here. On the, it says uh, charge plus connect, waterproof compartment, and then uh, there's an open uh, latch right here. You press it to your right, and just gonna, and then you pull. It's gonna open up the compartment. And there is like a mesh netting right here for you to put your uh, your smartphone or your iPod or your mini iPads or whatever. Hopefully it's gonna fit in here. And as you can see, there's another auxiliary auxiliary input right here, and it says a USB output, five volt, one point zero amp. So this this will be your auxiliary uh, two input. Because the first generation it has the auxiliary one and auxiliary two, versus uh, the new one only got one auxiliary uh, input, which is only one uh, one input. And this one is a uh, pretty good, has a uh, like a soft foam cushioning or padded, so you won't scratch your uh, back of your smartphone. And it's a cushioning on the side as well, okay? And there's a rubber seal, which is, uh, I don't know why it's kind of loose. Maybe that's why they removed this on the second generation. I'm not sure if the water is going to seep through or what is going on, okay? But anyway, this is where you put your uh, smartphone. So you probably need to put it like an upside down if you, in case you need to connect your auxiliary uh, cable from here to there. Okay, so it's easy to connect. And then uh, while you put your smartphone in here or your iPod touch or whatever, or your other devices that will fit in here, 
there's a charging port right here and then you just connect him to your smartphone and then you could close it and it's like a hidden and secure unfortunately this does not have a lock so you could put like a padlock, padlock on, on here and when you close it be sure you hear a click or else you, it, it's not watertight <laughs> So on this uh, second generation one, which is the uh, Echo Border Plus, uh, you have this uh, removable pouch, which is held by this uh, three Velcros. Okay, as you can see, there are three Velcro uh, strips. And good part about this is that uh, it comes with this uh, waterproof phone cases okay and you could just uh, open this up you gotta use this uh, your finger and push this in and then you can flap it open all right so it's open from the top And then this is just a couple right here. And then uh, instruction, make sure you lock and unlock properly and insert your phone and then lock into position. So you just uh, pop your phone in there. Wow, this is a big phone and still fit in there. And be sure to lock into, make sure this thing is open up and go through that hole and then clip it back to seal tight it. There's like a little hang tag, a loop that you insert your wrist strap or whatever. So this is waterproof now, okay? And this is one, the phone that I have is the LG uh, Phoenix uh, Plus. I just got, I need to do a review on later on, so. Be sure to take it out. So there are some spaces uh, around the edges still. I'm gonna do some measurements in case you guys are wondering how big of the phone that you will fit in here. So from edge to edge, it's about less than, uh, I would say about uh, three and three quarter inch in width. And then the height, it's about seven inches. So you gotta make sure this is uh, when it's flat. So as you see on the phone, it has a curvature. So you gotta give it a little space in order to fit in there, okay? Oh, so this is a dual pouch. So one is on the back, it's kind of thinner. Let's see. It's about one inch thick. And then the width is about four and three quarter. And then the, the front pouch will be one and a half. Well, about one and a half, uh, yeah. No, one and three quarter. 
uh, one and one quarter, sorry, one and one quarter inch, and then four and a half inch width. Let me put this back. So the new one comes with this uh, can opener or bottle opener. So in case you have a party, I got this uh, root beer right here. Wow, there you go, guys. Party, let's party and enjoy this uh, nice cold IBC root beer. So after you uh, open up your beer or can of soda or whatever, you could uh, put this on top of the on the top, which is nice. But on the new one, you could also put, I mean on the old one, you could also put it up here, but it's kind of a little bit slanted, so be careful you don't wobble. I was gonna fall. Okay, but anyway, this is a waterproof uh, speaker, so you don't need to worry about it. So, so you could uh, on a new one, you could hold uh, two bottles or two cups of uh, cold drinks or whatever, warm drink, hot chocolate, whatever. So let me take this out. I don't want it to spill since I'm going to move around the speaker. As you can see, the first generation is all blacked out. So this is all black versus uh, you got two of the cup holder right here, rubber, rubberized material. These are removable, by the way, okay? And you take it out to wash them or whatever. Before I move the speaker into the back section or the bottom, I'm going to show you guys the, the handle. Somehow the new one, it is much, much taller than the fir uh, first generation one, okay? So let me uh, measure real quick. <laughs> I'm going to measure from the back of the grill. So it's about 17 and a half inch tall. And then on the new one, I'm going to measure it. The higher up for the handle is about 23 and a half on the new one. Okay. So 17, 23, you have about six inch uh, higher on the new one. The new one has about three position. Let's see, one, two, three, so both of them have like three different positions. You guys just uh, got to get it right, you know, to adjust it properly. Let's go ahead and now go on the back. And this is the back of the grill, okay? 
It is uh, exactly the same, except uh, the only thing is a uh, different color. <laughs> so as you can see, the rubberized uh, waterproof uh, the plug, which is covered the screw. It is covered in uh, black color. Okay. And then the one on the handlebar on the left hand side, and the uh, old one, it has like uh, two screws. Actually, four, four screws, front and back. And then uh, this one has uh, one, two in the front. And this is the bottom of the speaker. Has a nice uh, wheels, which is uh, pretty rugged on two. Same goes with the first generation. And then you got this uh, rubber feet on the front of the speaker. And these are the two opening holes in the base of the echo borders uh, speaker are designed to allow excess uh, water runoff to drain away from the speaker water drain from this area is normal and safe okay you got the sticker right here still so so let's move on to the control panel real quick Uh, let me adjust the speakers, I mean the height of the camera. So on this uh, new, gen I mean, uh, first generation, all you do is just power on the speaker real quick by pressing it down. Power on. Ready to connect. Okay. Connection successful. Connection successful. So you tell you connection successful when once you get connected. Same go with the the new one. The new one is uh, when you turn on the system you will need to press and hold this power button for like three seconds as you can see it says right here speaker on ready to connect all right so i did not connect this to anything else yet but uh as you can see on this one this one has a one two three four five presets for the the radio and then uh, on the first generation you got this uh, up to six uh, presets for your AM and FM radio okay and then uh, they take uh, remove one of the preset station for the equalizer, e equalizer, okay. And they add an extra button here for the microphone. You press this one, you could do like a Siri or a Google. So you could press it and say, uh, when you're connecting with your iPhone, you can say Siri, uh, look up phone number or set a timer or whatever. And then, or if you have Google phone or uh, Android phone, you can say, okay, Google, uh, turn on the music or whatever 
play music, call somebody, okay? They also added end and talk button right here. So you get, if you ha don't have your phone uh, near you, or you could just press this button to talk and end the conversation. So where the microphone on the new one, this one has an AM, FM uh, switch right here. And this is a radio for you to change the uh, up and down station. And here is your uh, keypad lights. Ready to okay. So you uh, light up during the nighttime, which is pretty, pretty uh, bright. And here is your massive volume. This is your uh, Echo Connect. You can connect this uh, up to two speakers, so you can become a stereo speakers. You can also connect uh, all and then new generation one together, okay? So over here, you turn on the light, same thing. Uh, master volume up and down. Your uh, echo connect right here. And then uh, you can only do uh, echo connect in uh, Bluetooth mode, okay, on both. Also on the equalize, uh, to adjust the equalizer, you will need to be on the Bluetooth only. You cannot be on the AM, FM radio in order to uh, to change that. There's a pause and play button on both. And then uh, your uh, next station, I mean, uh, next track or previous track, okay? Your microphone controller right here, up and down. And then your Bluetooth. If you hold it and uh, up to three seconds or longer, you'll delete all the Bluetooth device that has been connecting with your speaker. Okay. So let's go on to this uh, selection real quick. Let me turn down the volume. I don't want to have copyright music or whatever on both. So once you power on, you should be on the Bluetooth mode. Okay, I can see, see on the BT. And you press one more time. This is the FM. Oh, shoot. And then uh, one more time, it's on AM radio. If you press one more time, it's on auxiliary one. I'm not sure why it show auxiliary one. Because it, this one only have uh, one auxiliary. And then you back to Bluetooth mode. Let's uh, jump into this uh, fir uh, first generation one. Let's turn down. So you, if you turn it on, it's on Bluetooth mode. Okay, as you can see, once your Bluetooth is connected, you have that uh, symbol right there. And if you press one more time, it's on FM mode. Press one more time, you got the AM mode. Press one more time. This one has two auxiliary, okay? So you got an auxiliary one and then auxiliary two, all right? So yeah, this is just an extra button right here for AM, FM radio. So it's kind of like a redundant because this one you could, the source you could change to FM or AM. So, so I guess this is just a quick button to change from AM to FM. Anyway, the sound quality on this one is uh, on both of them are pretty good. Uh, if you turn the EQ on the new one, and turn out the music so loud uh, during the FM play, you will hear a lot of distortion too. Once you, the speaker is cranked up uh, 
a fair pretty high. And this one has a hidden EQ I uh, went over on the review last time by pressing uh, guess this button and hold, you change a different EQ uh, mode, okay? Versus the new one. This one is just a press one time. And right now it shows a base, which is on the, now it's a base, uh, you could change up to plus four, or you could go down to minus uh, four, okay? And so it's a triple. If you press one more time, you could go up and down to adjust your uh, base and triple. And if you want to go into the preset uh, equalizer, You want to press and hold down longer on the EQ. And then now you see rock, normal, classic, pop, jazz, and then go back to rock. So those are the preset uh, EQ, okay? As you see, we're on Bluetooth. So on this one, it, you could also do it on the FM radio, on the equalizer. See, so as you can see, right now it's on negative four. You can go back up. So you got to be careful when you adjust the EQ. If you turn up the, too much bass and then turn up the volume so high, your speaker is going to sound distorted once the volume is uh, turning out the high volume. Okay? And on this one, this is the your microphone right here for your Siri and then uh, okay, the Google voice command right here. All right, guys. So hopefully you guys uh, like the video about this... Uh, Echo Border uh, versus uh, Echo Border Plus uh, speaker by Echo Gears. And both of them has a um, three years manufacturer warranty. So in case you have a problem, well, I got both of them at the Costco, okay? I, I guess uh, this one was at like $149.99 when it's on sale. Original price is $179.99. And then uh, the Echo Border Plus, I paid one seventy nine ninety nine. I heard they have it on sale last time for one forty nine ninety nine. So, but anyway, when it's on sale like that, you could always uh, return back with your original receipt as long as you keep your keep your original receipt. Costco will allow you to swap them out. Uh, they only the. Uh, Give you refund within like a, I think only ten to or fit, ten to fourteen days only in case the price drop. So unfortunately, in, in case I see they have on sale, I could only return my uh, original one or and then buy back the new one. So I don't know why Costco does that. It's kind of stupid. They rather have the customer return the old one back to them. So they could sell the new one at the lower price to you instead of just uh, give you the difference. So anyway, this is my uh, review for both of them, both of the speakers. Hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up and like, like this uh, video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and then turn on your bell for notification and drop any of the comments down below. All right, so I cannot tell you which one is better for you guys. Uh, it's all up to with your preference. And then uh, the handle on this thing is uh, pretty sturdy. And it is gray on the new one as well, as you can see, versus uh, the first generation is all blacked out. All right. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next uh, video, guys. Like always, happy Monday. Peace out, guys.